Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Thank you Plybank123 for pointing it out. Uh, so, uh, I was recording the whole thing without sound the whole time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching Modern Modern here at Grey World Games. This is round 3. Uh, last round of our casual 3 round events for Modern here at Grey World Games. I'm Alfian Poon. Uh, here we have Alex Lowe versus Jeremy Ma. Not sure what Alex Lowe is playing right now. Jeremy Ma playing the Jess Guy control deck. Jeremy looks like he's playing some sort of absent deck. Um, I've seen Noble Hierarch, uh, some other stuff. Path to Exile, Oz of Pontiff, Voice of Resurgence. Yeah, looks like a mid range, mid range absent. Not too sure. Because Path to Exile on the spell sky though. Hmm. All right, taps for all four. Wow, what's he playing? Oh, collected company. Okay, so this is the collected company. Uh, it's gonna bounce. Uh, gonna flicker the spells, the spell color to eat up the collected company. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, very very nice play there by Jeremy, making use of the spell color that did not have a spell under it. <laughs> now it has a spell under it. So now on taps. Right, goes swinging into the team here. It's gonna be seven damage, I think. It looks like seven damage. Yeah, Alex Lowe definitely not in a good position right now. W wasn't able to resolve any like uh, I guess net cast damage. Yep, yep, bolt. Okay. Yeah, Alex Lowe wasn't able to resolve any of his like key spells. Not no cocos, no core of callings. So Jeremy was able to kind of switch gears to a so more aggressive deck to end up the game pretty fast. So off the sideboard we go. Yeah, spell kite. Yeah, PVD eighty nine. You're right, but uh, the the game's over already. So yeah, next time when that next next time that happens, I'll definitely take note of that. I'll go outside and tell the players. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks PVD. Hmm. Both players going to sideboard here. Not sure what absent has against against the just against control decks. Yeah, really unsure what just really unsure what uh, Alex might have. Uh, Jeremy, however, uh, I'm pretty sure he can put in more, like he can put in rest in peace to disrupt the combo, really hard. So that would that would be a good, that would be great. That would be amazing, actually. Holy shit! Might matter with eternal witness shenanigans. Yep, you're definitely right. So both players going to side warrior. Oh yeah. Absent probably has sleepy wounds. Is absent probably has things like sin collector or discard spells. Um, yeah, that's actually that's actually a good point. Absent does have access to things like Inquisition of Kozilek, Thought Seas, Tight Hollow Scholar. Yep, yep, definitely right. My bad. Uh, I see abrupt decays, some other stuff. Not sh not too sure what he has, but hmm. Very very uh very interested to see what. Alex Lowe might bring here. Definitely also interested in his mindset. Does he want to go in more aggressively? Does he want to play more safe? So one thing you one thing people have with control decks is uh when you're not you're playing against a control deck, you think to yourself, do I want to beat the clock before a before control before control goes big? Or do I want to have cards to disrupt their control so I can protect my own plans? Um, most most would say that the best solution would be somewhere in the middle ground, but I'm more of a fan. I'm 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 a fan of the the early rush plan. Do let me know in chat what what your opinions are in regards to this, because uh, it's quite uh, opinions are quite varied in this in this sense. Hmm. All right, both players uh dunge sideboarding. Okay, looks good.
firstly, it needs to resolve Voice of Resurgence turn 2. Yeah, definitely. Voice of Resurgence, a very good card against uh, Control. Let's bring out... Let's bring out why. Let's look at the card. Let's infer why it's such a good card. Come on, guys. So, Voice of Resurgence, recently reprinted in the Modern Masters 3. Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, or when Voice of Resurgence dies, create a green and white elemental token uh, creature with this creature's power and toughness are equal to the amount of, uh, equal to the amount of uh, creatures you control. So this means, once Alex Lowe resolves this, Jeremy, um, is, Jeremy will be less likely to cast spells on Alex Lowe's turns. So instance will be a bit less powerful because it will give, it will give Alex like, um, more threats. So, so Voice of Resurgence def uh, definitely, if he does, if he has it in sideboard or if it was his main board, definitely stays in the main board against a control matchup. Not sure if, not sure if, uh, not sure what version of Absence he's playing though. Looks like um, is he playing like collector company combo? Is he playing like mid range collector company or is he playing like pure mid range? Very interested to see. Very interested, yeah, very interested to know what he's playing here. Hmm. All right, so both players draw their opening seven. Oh, wait, no, just Alex Lowe. Oh, that's Thought Seize. That's Thought Seize on Alex Lowe's side. It's pretty good. Jeremy Mar presents his deck for cutting. Yeah, it, look at it. Alex Lowe's hand looks generally reasonable, I guess. Hmm. All right, so yeah, here comes here comes Dotsies, like uh, we mentioned. Uh, going to scout out Jeremy's hands for any threats. So take a, uh, out comes out goes the Lightning Helix. Going to see wow five lands on Jeremy's side. Definitely a sign of weakness for uh, for Alex Lowe to take note of. Maybe now he wants to go in more aggressively before Jeremy is able to draw the answers that uh, he does not have at the moment. So. Yeah, off to Jeremy's turn. Gonna play the Castler Colony and pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, plays Birds of Paradise, plays land, I think. Oh, okay, do you have any Township? Yeah, this definitely looks like the Collected Company combo version. Oh, for the score. The score is currently 0 to 1. PVD 89, all spells stripped from the hand, mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, well, that wasn't really a hard mission, was it? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Alright, two birds of paradise here for Alex Lowe. Um quite precarious for Jeremy. Uh having already access to a collector company this fast. It's not something you want to see your opponent have. Especially since he's playing a absent collected company. So Jeremy's gonna draw here. Hopefully it's gonna be something good. Maybe a Wrath of God. Wrath would be nice. It should be nice to ho like hang back to a Wrath of God when your opponent goes really big. But no, okay. No turn three play. Uh Alex is gonna draw. Looks like a solid prime mage. Okay, gonna tap three looks like. Yeah, three. Looks like it's a... Uh, is that Kitchen Finks? That's definitely kitchen things, okay. That's a really weird art. For kitchen things, holy shit. Or oh, spell color the kitchen things, oh. Alright. So yeah, okay, never mind. Jeremy does have a turn tree play. Forgot about spell color. Very timely top deck there. So uh, if you're Alex Lowe, I think you just keep keep uh, pumping out the threats. Oh, you wouldn't block with the birds there? I don't think so, man. Surely not, right? Yeah, that's an F&M promo, Kitchen Things. 
Oh, he's gonna tap that. Gonna play the Puff to Exile, maybe. He cuts Puff to Exile onto the spell color, get back the kitchen things. Seems pretty good. Um, nope. Yeah, probably, probably worry, probably wary of that Restoration Angel or maybe another, another counter spell. So Jeremy passes the turn here. Alex Low is gonna draw into a. Didn't really see what he drew into, but. Hmm. Yeah, Alex Low likes to collect the bling. Always gonna have the F and M promo cards. Go to tap three. Here comes. Is that E Wit? Yeah, that's E Witness. Here comes Restoration Angel. I'm gonna blink that. Get, get that. Okay. Yeah. So Kitchen Fix is gonna resolve now. Uh, Twitch chat, do let me know if that is not E-Witness. I'm just kind of guessing right now. That really looks like E-Witness. Yeah, okay. So, Spellcaller does get flashed, I mean, uh, blinked, eats up the E-Witness and uh, lets the Kitchen Things resolve. Yes, now, yeah, now that, now that Jeremy's tapped out, probably a good time to puff to exile the Spellcaller, get the E-Witness back. Yeah, thanks PVD. Alright, get the E-Witness back. Probably gonna get Thoughtseize. Maybe Thoughtseize or Path to Exile. I I'm, a I'm a fan of Thoughtseize here. Not really able to cast it this on this turn, but... Uh, yeah. I'll still go to Thoughtseize. <coughs> oh. Surgical Extraction on the Thoughtseize, or on the stack, oh, on the Path to Exile, okay. Since Unoffensive Collector Company and Kasali Prime Mage. Okay, it's not too bad. Mm. So Jeremy, really kind of afraid of the, kind of afraid of the Path to Exile here. Pre trying to preemptively protect his, uh, End game plus colonnades or restoration angels. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My acid reflux is uh, acting up again. Ah. Oh man, it's not good. <coughs> All right, back to Jeremy's turn. Uh, he did reveal two lands, two lands in his hand just now. So anything that he, anything, any gas that he draws will be a top deck. <laughs> Axel on taps and draws here. Another Gavany Township. I think it might be. I think I, if I was Alex, I might be a fan of just waiting on the collector company. Yeah, I'll definitely wait on the collector company. I mean, I do have the. I do have the. The Anafenza, so win con. Anafenza, Kitchen Things, and. And uh, Viserys here. No, oh, yeah, just need a sec outlet. So I'm gonna tap the Birds of Paradise. Play another. Oh, I'm gonna play the Thought Seas. Let's see what happened. What happened to the lady? Oh, um, she had to go for work. The boss kinda called her back. I'm not sure where she is right now. I think she's at the back, like, sorting some cards. I would really like. I would really have. A, have liked her though. I think she was pretty good as a flavor caster. All right, sees a bunch of cards. Is that, that Fulminator Mage? Hmm, it's that spicy. Gets Fulminator Mage and nothing else. He really just with no Fulminator Mage and E Witness. Gonna get back the Collector Company. All right, that's pretty value. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna blow up your Celestial Colonnade. All right, pass the turn. <clears throat> so you're yep, the flyer's going in to try and race Alex Lowe's ground here. I'm gonna get him for five. Alex Lowe's damage worth uh, five in the ground as well. Not including E witness. Hmm. I think Mark. Yeah, Mark was talking to her just now. Ben is uh Ben's also Ben's also the boss. 
Here comes Birds of Paradise. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, Wen Welcome back. Hello. What, where were you? Where, where were you? I was in a meeting about uh, some design stuff for the Gogi. Oh, okay. That's for fair. Invitationals, by the way, it's coming up soon. Yeah, do catch, do catch up for that. Uh, speaking of Gogi, the Invitationals, everyone right now in this event is vying for the prize for the 30 points you needed to get into the Invitational. So once yes. you get 30 points, once you grind it, grind out 30, 30 qualifying points, you're able to enter this free event called the, season, the Seasonal Invitationals that we have at the end of... April. So it will be this this month, the uh, 30th of April, and it's called the Seasonal Qualifiers, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to stream it live. We're going to have all the best players in Grey Warrior Games battle it out for yes. a place in the finals. Yes. Top and 16 finals. Just a sneak peek, we will be having some freebies for exclusively for the participants. Whoa, what? Yes. Wait, what? That means doesn't mean I get one too? It's a secret. Uh, the no, you, you get nothing. I, I uh, get yours. Wait, I'm a participant. No, I, I'm getting yours. No, you're Thanks. not. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, so Capolo has mentioned something. About I'll try to invite me and give me a flight. <laughs> okay, so who's the boss? We don't have the money, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He, he asked, who, yes, who's the boss? Mark or Ben. Yeah, it's Mark. I told him. Oh, you, you told him? Yeah. So All here right. comes a rest in peace. Oh, boy. This is going to shut down Alexa's combo. Oh, right. Rest in peace. Yeah, so rest in peace here. It's going to... Normally, the combo... Res the, com the combo rev resolves, revolves around uh, setting HFX to the graveyard and coming back without its minus one, minus one counter. But with rest in peace, all creatures entering the graveyard will be exiled instead. So Wow, that is pretty hardcore. Yeah, so Kitchen Fink's not gonna do much. Wow, 50 viewers, man. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Wow, Place Collector <laughs> Company is... Okay. If I was... Alex Slow here, I might, have been, I might have wanted to just pump up my entire team with the Gavany Township, actually. But Collector Company is fine too, I guess. Well, let's see what he gets. He gets an Offensa and full meter mage. Okay. That's alright. So, could I have a rundown of what, what the two decks are? Alright, well, so here we're seeing... Uh, here we're seeing... Hold on. Let me just transition it out. You're seeing... Um, Absent Collected Company versus... Just like control. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh yeah, it's J Jareen. Yeah. J Jareen or J Jeremy? Yeah, top deck, plus, top deck Q Pride Mage would have been really good for Alex Low here. Let's see what he gets on his, off his top though. Maybe it's another class. Maybe it's not. Maybe here it's a Kasali Pride Mage here. He could definitely activate the Gavin Township and still swing in though. That would, that's, I'm pretty sure that's lethal. Oh, wait, no. Wait, he already had the Kasali Prime Mage in sand. Okay. That's, that's, that's awkward. <coughs> so, hmm. Is he going to? Is he able to, to deal lethal this turn? Hmm. Probably not. Hmm. Actually, yeah, probably, probably well, yes. Well, what's stopping him? Nothing. So yeah, goes in with the whole team here. Uh, gonna leave behind uh Abzan, gonna leave behind Abzan colors for the Gavany Township to activate. Yep. Uh, Jeremy just scoops it up. You're going to a game three. Okay. Yeah, boy. So yeah, that's a kind of a. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it was close or not. What do you think? Well, I joined the game late, so <laughs> that's I'm true. not very sure. But yeah, yeah, the game. Felt, judging from the live it counter, felt, it seems pretty close. Yeah, it felt no, not really. That's not really a fair. Okay, so live counters aren't really a fair way of determining on whether the match was close or not. Really? Because most of the time, death. Uh, yeah, decks like Death Shadow. Or like in fact, where life, where your life may be low, but uh, in terms of fact, you're still winning. Yes, yes, that's or true. Especially when you're playing control deck, your opponent has no cards in his hand, right? Yeah. And you have as a control deck, you have all the cards in your hand. So no matter what Alex draws, as a control player, you're going to answer every single one of his answers with a counter spell, removal, or you know anything at all. Yes. Uh, do you want to take a seat? No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, so someone asked who's the boss? Okay, we, all make, we all talking bad about. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> no, we were, we were talking, just now uh, I, I told them Wen Su is behind with the boss because they asked where Wen Su was. Yeah. No, so Elvia, he doesn't need an, to know, it's fine. Idol. She's an idol. What? Yeah, she's an idol. <laughs> she's a, Don't tell your poly, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Poly Idol Festival! 
，有的 S S， 有的有的 S S R， 有的 U， 有的 U R。When I when I when I when I open my envelope, I see one sir. I'm like, this not this is not the U R I wanted, man. I I turn I close it back. I throw it in the dustbin. Yeah, boy. It's not. Guys, guys, I'm facing workspace harassment. Please report me. Uh, re- report Elvin. I deserve to work in a safe environment. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, both players here gonna gonna cut each other's deck, but say hi to Mark for me. Oh. Okay, sure. Point taken. I'll I'll tell Wait. I'll tell Mark you said hi. I'll, I'll tell Mark to mark your words. Ooh. Please laugh. I'm very uh, funny. <laughs> 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 you very funny. Yes. <laughs> no, you're not. You're very unfunny. Uh, it's a gift, okay. I I I'm an acquired taste. <laughs> All right, whatever. So Jeremy, I got a mile to six. Oh, definitely that's not one. Risky? Yeah, definitely a uh, mile to six as a control player. I guess not really what you want because you're gonna essentially use your card advantage. All the cards in your hand. You as funny as Mick as his sub jokes. <laughs> mm. Yes, I'm halfway there. <laughs> halfway there, man. Yeah, anyway, mile to six as a control player. Means you have less cards in hand and less answers in your hand to yes. res- respond to Alexis. Probably one more card in his hand. Yeah, so that was what I what I thought in the first <coughs> place. I thought it would give me a disadvantage, but what what Mark told me was that would you rather have a hand full of things you can't play, or would you rather have a hand that you can play around, play with? That's you true. Know? Yeah. But here, oh, regard, regardless, sword. though, this is still a downside for uh, Jeremy. Alex now two cards ahead of Jeremy because he gets to draw on his turn too. Yeah. So definitely not where control wants to be, and definitely not, don't want to grind yourself out. Haha, uh-huh, grind. Alright. Okay. So here comes the overgrown tomb <laughs> of the Berlin Catacombs. Gonna shock himself. Probably gonna play Birds of Paradise here. Here comes the Birds of Paradise. Oh, yes. You call it. Uh, Jeremy, off to his draw. Cho- chooses not to fetch with his Flooded Strand here. Okay, so do you know why he chose not to? No, why not? Alright, so if you fetch your Flooded Strand, right, you're thinning your deck out one land. Alright. So this probably indicates that he's he needs to draw more lands. Because if you fetch, right, mm. you're gonna lower the chances of yourself drawing lands. Yeah. Okay. So that means so is so it means right that if he does not want to thin out his deck for lands, it means he wants to draw lands. Probably oh, indicative of him not having any lands in his hand. Ah right. Yo, Mark, right, Mark. right, right. Uh Capolo says hi. Oh, hi Capolo. Mark says hi. <coughs> <laughs> uh, followed by cough, cough, cough. Uh, choking on my salad. <laughs> uh, choking on his salad. <laughs> this is why you should never eat salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Flutter Strand is going to be cracked here. Maybe Jeremy finally finding his uh, finding his lands or actually really needs his lands right now. Gets the Hollowed Fountain. Um, yeah, I guess the Hollowed Fountain. Untaps and draws. <clears throat> Looks like Restoration Angel. Alright, here's the island. Gonna tap three down for... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, it's Blade Splicer. Oops, sorry. Oops, it's not, I didn't want to do that. So yeah, let's bring out Blade Splicer for you guys. Wow, definitely uh, one of the... One of the cards we saw a lot during our MM3 drafts, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Blade Splicer, when Blade Splicer entered the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three colors. Golem artifact creature token. Golem creatures you control have first strike. Oh. So yeah, creates a golem that's a very potent blocker. When it itself is a, also a very good blocker. Uh, Alex Low here reading that Jeremy might not have any lands, uh, might, uh, might be short on lands here. So place the Fulminator Mage, threatening to destroy one of Jeremy's, uh, you know, lands. Oh, okay. So th- there must be a, a certain level of uh, intuition right there. Yep. In playing yeah, games definitely, like this, uh, yeah. yeah. When when you play, when you once you play magic uh, long enough, you're able to read signs on when on when your opponent's um, lacking of something. Mm. It's out of lands, out of threats to cast. So here comes here comes a uh, spell queller going to be cast after, in response to the full meter mage blowing up in the steam vents. So yeah, Alex Lowe's Alex Lowe's intuition was right. Jeremy missed his land drop for a turn. Okay, <coughs> so whatever shall he do now? Mm, probably gonna play more threats. Yeah. Do you think this is enough for for Alex to 
make a comeback. Comeback? Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. If it comes play, this though. is all he needs. If it comes Birds of Paradise. Definitely gonna need more than just Birds of Paradise to come back <laughs> on the game, though. Uh, I mean, like, you know, banking on Jer- Jereem's. J- Jeremy's. Uh, Jeremy's. 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 Jeremy's bad luck. Lack of land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he drew an island just now. Did he? Oh, he placed it out, but he only has two on the board to use for some reason. Mm-hmm. So here comes oh, Path to Exile onto the sky, on the schools. Scoozy schools. Does Alex have an answer for this? Most likely not, right? Yeah, so, okay, Scoos is gonna eat up, eat up, uh, something. Not sure what it's gonna eat up. I think everyone knows what Scoos does. I have no idea what Scoos is, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I will get Scavenging Woos just for you. Oh, so, so that's called Scavenging Woos. Yes, it's short, Scoos. Scoos is the short form. Oh, that, that's like a term of endearment, man. Scoos. Yeah. So, yep, Scavenging Woos, a uh, very, very common card for a lot of uh, green decks here. Exile target card from your graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one, plus one counter onto the schools and you gain one life. Wow, that seems pretty functional, usable. But what, what what's the word? Playable. Playable, yeah. yeah. Unlike, <laughs> unlike me in real life, because I'm not non-functioning. Hey, Elvian, no, no human being should be played. Wow. Wow, that was deep. Good job, Wunzi. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy, going in for the beats here. Right. Three, f- tr- that's six damage on the. That's three, that's three damage on to Alex Low. Blade, the blade splicer, the golem, and the uh, spell queller. Uh, let's see what Alex Low can draw here. He needs something really good. That's what he draw. I didn't see that. Is that Tyler Striker? All right, so let's see what he starts off with. Oh, Thoughtseize, okay. Let's see what let's see what Jeremy has in his hand. S- snap, Restoration Angel, Path to Exile. I think definitely here you want to take the Path to Exile. Because, um, yeah, Path to Exile, only the, the, pos- the only possible card that Jeremy will be able to cast with some value. Snap Custom Mage, you will want to cast it with something else in conjunction with it, and Restoration Angel will adjust two mana short, so... I think here's a snap call on the Path to Exile, what do you think? What does Path to Exile do? <laughs> Please don't groan! <laughs> it removes something on the field. Alright, okay. Yeah, I've seen it being talked about a lot recently. It ha- has it always been a popular card? Yes, it's been always popular ever since the advent of Northern or some or whatever it's called. Hmm. Yeah, so Alex Loeb, being none the wiser, takes out the Path to Exile. Uh, Ah, oh, just looks like two two lands in his hand though. Is Alex really gonna lose like this? Being flooded by lands. Oh, he was almost getting a hit. Yeah, oh my gosh. This very bad spot for Alex Low right now. She needs to top deck like collector company into combo or something. <laughs> uh, will will we be able to see it in the next turn? You gotta pray hard. Yeah, I gotta pray really hard, eh? <laughs> Alright, so do you know why Jeremy did not attack with the Blade Splicer here? To block? What? To block? Why me to block? I I have no idea. Speak loud, speak loud, speak louder. I have no idea. <laughs> really? Yeah. Alright, so I'm the reason sorry. why the reason why um Jeremy chose not to attack with the Blade Splicer is because Alex Slow has this one cool land on the back side. It's uh let's let's get it out for you guys. <laughs> Gavany Township. So, for 4 mana with uh, green white colors, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. So, what Alex is able to do, he could just uh, block the Blade Splicer, use the Gavany Township to turn the bird into a 1 2, and then just trade. Oh, right, right. Not, hey, not trade, more smart. of just. Not really trade, more of just. Uh, oh, boy, off. here's the Call of Calling. Uh, I think you might want to get an E Witness here. Get E witness, then get a call of calling, I guess. Hmm. So what what will you get here? I'm I'm really in a, I'm really a fan of E witness, but here okay, go and get your kitchen things actually. Hmm. Okay. Gets Alex Alex up to ten. Gonna block the golem. Okay. 
Yeah, so Jeremy definitely having the right mindset over there, but Alex Low, instead of getting the Gavinic downship activation, just goes for the goes for the court into Kitchen Sphinx. Yeah, gonna Yeah. Oh uh, also the reason why Golem didn't die because Golem had had first strike. Right, so right. It, it killed the Kitchen Sphinx before it, could, before it could do damage back to the Golem. Oh here oh there's there's the extra land. Now uh, Jeremy open to uh, Snapcaster into Path to Exile. That has enough mana for that. Path to Exile is a really good card actually. Uh, single mana, single white mana for to remove any basically anything. So th that that is one of the flagship cards for white yeah, white definitely. decks and control decks. Not, not just control decks though, uh, mid-range decks, sometimes even aggro decks. Really? Yeah, actually any deck that runs white will want to play Path to Exile. Hmm. It's just that good, right? I mean, yeah. white, Very single, effective. single white for just, re single white that removes anything on the field. Come on, man. You don't, you don't <laughs> want that? Why are you smoking? <laughs> I'm smoking I got lethargy in my and hours of staying up playing Hearthstone. Nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 interesting interaction here Alex could do. He could use Abzan, uh, he could use Gavin Township, right, to remove the count, to get the person person counter onto Kitchen Things, which removes the minus one minus one counter onto Kitchen Things, which makes the Undying Trigger able to go up again. So let's yeah. bring out Kitchen Things to further explain this interaction. <coughs> so yeah, so Kitchen Things persists here, says, when this creature dies, if it had no minus one minus one counters on it, return to battlefield under its owner's control with a minus one minus one counter on it. So essentially what what Gavin Township does is it gives it gives Kitchen Things a plus one plus one counter, and according to rulings, right, if you have, if you put a plus one plus one counter onto a minus one minus counter, both both of the counters will uh, negate each other, and then and the crowd will be clean with no counters at all. Yeah. So okay. causing it to causing it to be able to persist one more time. Pretty good, right? So he can continually gain life from this. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, here comes Snapcaster into Path to Exile. So, so what did he choose to remove? The kitchen fix, of course. Alright. Very good choice. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna take two from the spell queller. <laughs> not really not really bad news though. Alex Lo gets to thin out his deck, I guess. Please teach me about magic Alfian Senpai. Magic uh, uh, Alfian Senpai. Uh, Maho 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 Shoujo. You're, you're the Maho Shoujo, Ra the Ma Ma Maho Shonen. Ramen. Uh, yakiniku. Ya yakiniku. <laughs> ramen. Gohan. <laughs> Tonkotsu. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I lose. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, back to Alex Lowe's turn. Uh, the bird now does have a plus, uh, plus one plus counter on it, making it a one two. Let's see what he draws here. Hopefully, it's not a land. It was a land. Oh, it cycles though. Uh, Horizon canopy being able to cycle itself. Let's see, is it a land? Oh, what what did he draw, man? Ladies speak Japanese. Yo, speak more Japanese. <laughs> Wants to speak more Japanese, man. Yada. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you, you you should tell that to yourself, please. <laughs> arigato gozai, thank you very much. Uh, uh, arigato gozai much. <laughs> <laughs> Ari, no, it's arigato thanks gozai much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Jeremy Ma is winning. No doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, it, it it's such a shame though. Alex almost got the level. Yeah, back I mean he had now, he uh, he's just stuck on lens. Yeah. So sad. Wait, is that Everson? Oh! That is Everson. Oh! Hello? What does it do? That's Everson. That's, that's a standard Everson. Oh! Spicy deck deck! So, yeah, so here's Archangel Everson. Standard all stuff for white. Oh, oops. 
let me let me just uh yeah you, you can you guys can you guys can just roll with that flash flying vigilance when archangel everson enters the battlefield creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn when a non-angel creature you control dies transform archangel everson at the beginning of the next art keep whoa whoa so, pretty 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 amazed that he chose to play this card in modern actually probably it's a mirac miraculous one-off that he puts in his deck for fun well, it's unexpected cards like this that spice up the games, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, net, net decking, it's, it's not bad, it's just, you know, come on, we can do better. It's just very mean. It's very, uh, it's very uh, demeaning. Okay. I, I wasn't, That's okay. very demeaning to <laughs> a lot of players. I'm sorry, players! <laughs> okay, like, uh, I was just saying, you know, it, it's not bad, but, you know, you can have a couple of cards inside too. It's some, something more to, towards your playstyle. Yeah. It's probably his his tech versus ref Capolo for it Yeah, I guess that's probably true. Um, yeah, that's definitely something to take note of. Uh, against ref of God, damnation, um, supreme verdict even. Uh, cards that Jeremy Ma that decks like Jeremy Ma most probably would run. So yeah, definitely good, good tech there by Alex Lo. Hmm. Definitely, lady, please be mean. Wow. Wow, that is some. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Alright, so on to Alexa's turn here. We're gonna draw. Um, looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I just need to say more, say more words once. Okay, same. does, does Everything actually have any legitimate synergy with the rest of this deck? Well, um. It's not it's not really a synergy card. It's more of a card that fits into any any kind of plan. Okay. So your creatures gonna die. Just just flashing this in and everyone's safe. It also acts as a blocker. It's a huge. It's a threat. Mm. You can just it's, it has vigilance, so you can do mm. double duty in blocking and yes. you know attacking. Yeah. So it's so so why isn't she played more? What? In in more. Oh, of course, other modern typically you want cards that cost less. Oh, that's Visteras here. That's part of the combo. Hmm. <laughs> Can't let Truth or Dead nineteen ninety. Can't let Alfian bully you. They want you to yeah, fight back. You can't do this, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your best? <laughs> That's your best? I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna scold you. You're gonna try try defend yourself, okay? Okay. Wunsu. Yes. You're trash. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look for the trash bin now. I'm going home. <laughs> what? What? No, that's not how you defend yourself. You're supposed to be like, Alfian, I'm not trash. You oh, are oh, the trash. Yeah, it takes one to know one. But you still, but you still say you're trash. Well, I try. <laughs> oh, that bad is <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, here comes Everson and Birds of Paradise. Birds of Paradise is probably not keen on blocking duty anyway in the first place, so and ever seen probably gonna attack anyway because it's vigilance, why not? The question now is what's Jeremy gonna do? Does he, he has two cards in hand? We don't know what those two cards are, so they might be removal or something. What do you think they are? Did we actually manage to sneak a peek just now? No, we didn't. I'm gonna guess one of them is a land. Good guess. <laughs> Good guess. Okay, actually, that, that's a pretty bad guess. Oh, oh, no. One of them is the Restoration Angel. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I'm going to bling back my Blade Splicer, get a Blade Splicer back, and a Golem. Wow, tell you. Alright, I, I gotta go for a bit. Alright, bye, Wensu. Goodbye. Pork Champ. <laughs> uh, you, so Mark just stole one suit from me again. So Restoration Angel gonna block the burst of paradise. Rest in peace, Burp. Hmm. Okay, so it's gonna activate the Gavini Township, I think. Yeah, not really gonna save the bird, but it's gonna sneak in one damage on from the Eversyn. Another thing to note too, uh, Eversyn's gonna wipe the board, except for the Restoration Angel. I guess. So if Jeremy's 
Jeremy has removal for rest for ever since after it after it flips um this this game. Oh wait, no, ever since doesn't deal damage to the to the owner. Never mind. Uh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pass the turn here. <laughs> yeah and uh Alex Low flips flips Everson. It's gonna gonna wipe everything out. Of course Vicera's still gonna sack itself I think. Yeah, Vicera's gonna sack itself to scry. Goes to the bottom. Then uh, yeah, deals three to Jeremy. Alright, so let's see what Jeremy Jeremy can pull out of the card bag. Is it good? Is it the good stuff? <coughs> nope, ever seen blocks the restoration angel. Looks like Lightning Helix is gonna punish Alex Low for that choice. Yep. No, that's that's six damage. Yeah, uh, ever since is uh, six toughness, so ever does die. Mm, very good play by Jeremy there, prompting the block from Alex Low. Yep. Great bait, mate. So now back to Alex Low's turn. Is he able to peel off something relevant? Because uh, he needs definitely needs relevancy right now. Passes the turn. Just doesn't look relevant. So, oh, Wes is back. Hello. Am I? Yes. <laughs> oh, here comes here's Big Daddy Gideon for Jeremy. Big well, all, Daddy? Yeah, Big Daddy Gideon. What? Oh, 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 oh you zapped me. What the hell? I told you I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an electric wizard. Yeah, so Winston not... Like move, move the hand. Like quickly shuff, shuffle her hand, uh, rub to mine, zap me. Otherwise known as static. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, thanks a lot, man. Yes, thank you, Capolo. Mm. So here's Gideon, ally of Zendika. Normally a standard all star, also. But here we see some appearance in modern. Very, very cool, very nice. So what's What's Alex Low going to take if Ewit? Yep, of course, ever seen. Why not? Always ever seen. Have you ever seen such a pro player like this? It's been a lot. Uh, it's been a lot since I've ever seen something as good as ever seen. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're losing followers, yeah, losing well. viewers. I'm sorry. Please come back. <laughs> 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 what the hell was it? I'm shaking my head. We lost one viewer because of you once. Oh no. Okay, so anyway, we are down to the last one minute. Yeah. Do, do, does, do we actually enforce on the timings? No, we don't. <laughs> Alright. No, I, sh I, I think we do. So but after the time limit ends, we give them the last five turns, right? Yep, we do. Yeah. So I think you want to block the the eternal witness here, and then flash never seen. Not really much that Alex can do here. <clears throat> yeah, here comes ever seen. Gonna block that. Well, before blocks, says Jeremy. On the trigger of your ever seen, I'm gonna destroy the e witness. Whoa. You know, in like the Duel Masters shows. <laughs> okay. Even said flipping should have damaged the opponent, right? Yeah, the, the, the opponent, the opponent did take the damage already. Uh, if I'm not wrong, the, po the Jeremy did take the 3 damage. Hmm, wonder what Jeremy is doing right now. Why is why's he holding that? that why is he holding that? It's causing him to think so hard. Oh, okay. Oh, passes the turn. Okay. So they're down to the last five turns. Is mm -hmm. anything going to change? Or are they still in the stalemate? Yeah, they're part of the stalemate. Yeah, Sleepy Wound. That's right. Okay, so... Hmm, interesting. He didn't... He didn't activate the Gideon that turn. Hmm. He could have plus one Gideon to survive an attack from Eversyn. Oh no, he, oh, he zeroed the Gideon to get another Tart Knight, right. But now Eversyn is just gonna pack into Gideon. That sucks. 
So I okay, right now Everson, I think the only way for Alex to win here before time runs out is to swing in with Everson. Uh, leave the Eternal Witness as a blocker for the Gideon. And uh, when when the, if the Eternal Witness if the Ewe die if the e Witness dies, then um, Everson will flip and win the game. Yeah. So technically, if that is what is going to happen, can we can we conclude that Jerem Jerem won with a Tupalang card? Jerem Jerem. Jerem. What Tupalang card? Okay, so in the previous in the previous game, uh, in the previous round, we were talking about some some decks having a uh, just just one or two like cards that are actually out of what is recommended for them, which is like unexpected. So what is the Chapalang card here? Ever seen? <laughs> no, that's Alex Lowe. Alex Lowe is playing Ever seen. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Certainly didn't expect to be seeing Ever seen versus Gideon in modern. <laughs> here. Oh no, here comes Snap Custom Mage. Flashback. Okay. Alex Lowe's gonna lose. How do you feel Alex Lowe's gonna lose? Yeah, spicy one of text. Yes, I agree. Wait, Some that's sleepy wound. Yes, sleepy wound. Yes, I Some agree. Some people yeah. like yeah, spicy one of text. Yeah, that, that that is actually how I like to build my deck as well. And spicy in, in Hearthstone. I, I I don't really dare to stray away from net net decks actually from Magic because I'm still quite new, so I don't really know what what's good to You're still change. Still bad at the game. Yes, uh, technically yes, I am still very bad at the game. <laughs> I like one of one off decks if you have tutors. Let's play EDH modern. Like one off everything. <laughs> Come on, EDH isn't competitive. E EDH modern. Like we EDH have, um, modern. We play modern, right? But every card is like single turn. Oh, what? It sounds so ridiculous. We don't yes. Jackson, we <laughs> oh my gosh, I am exposed. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But we know Jackson's gone from standard. <laughs> no, I don't play standard. Come on. Oh pussy. <laughs> King meow. Crush when I still play Hearthstone. Oh yes, uh, for the upcoming Ungoro expansions, there is actually going to be a bunch of other King Crushes. Wait, what new King? More King Crush? Uh, not exactly King Crush, but you know, dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Oh my god, it's another E-Witness, it's gonna get back to Everseen. Wait, no, not Everseen, yeah, Everseen got exiled. It's gonna get back Court of Calling. Okay, what, what can, what can Alex Lowe string, string up here? What so kind of what's the point of him putting a white card above above his card? Who? What what what's the point of him putting white uh a white card above his card? To hide it? Nope. What? No, the core of college revealed. Okay. There's no point. Oh. What? What? <laughs> e witness returned core of calling okay, to his head. Okay, so now uh -huh. now core of calling is revealed. Oh okay. So Jer so it's just showing that to Jeremy that he has a call of calling his hand. Oh right, okay. Oh okay, okay. So the white card is actually his hand. Yes. Oh right, okay, understood. Wow, you them them two yeah. <laughs> I I'll get better. Please have some patience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think it's gonna play the call of calling here. Whoa. Whoa. Path to exile the Gideon. Whoa. Wrecked. Oh spell queller. Okay, but now, now what he can do is uh, Call of Calling for Spell Queller No wait, doesn't have Spell Queller in his deck Okay, so Call of Calling for 5 Nope, for uh, 6 Does he have removal for the Spell Queller? Because if he does, that'll be pretty good Oh yeah, Fiend Hunter Let's get that up for our friends so when Fiend Hunter enters the battlefield, uh, you may exalt another target creature when f when but when it leaves the battlefield return exalt card from the battlefield. So it's like mode lurker. Mm. Cool. Wow. Actually, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about returning exalt cards back into the game because I thought that was the point of exalting cards, you know? To just no, let this, them leave the these game. cards aren't really like counter cards, they're more of I'm gonna hold on to this until you can answer this. It's like disruption tempo thing. Hmm. 
Oh, right, right, right. So, actually, even when Exalt cards come back, it's only temporary, right? No. There have been Exalt cards that came back permanently, as permanent? Yes. Alex might have ordered it wrong. It's okay, so this is what happened. Um, Alex Low, no, okay, Jeremy, casted, casted Spell Queller onto the path to Exile. So, the call of calling for Fiend Hunter, it's going to Fiend Hunter exiling, wait, Gideon? Oh yes, yes, Alex Low did order it wrong because he casted, call, he casted the Call of Calling onto Fiend Hunter before the Spell Queller resolved. Oh no! So, should we go out now? Oh no, 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 this is what, he's, he's fixing. So now, now, now he can't target the Spell Queller. He has to target the Gideon Fiend Hunter. Okay. Yeah. So, should we uh, do anything about it? No, they already did something about it. Oh, right, okay. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I mean, bad, bad, juju, <laughs> bad juju here from Alex Lowe. Definitely a uh, little bit of a misplay there. Mm. Yeah, Alex Lowe really kicking himself right now. If you... Yeah, get that Gideon. Yeah, CP when you're, CP when you're right. Uh, he had a target of Gideon's. But if he did have a target of Gideon, that would be bad. <laughs> He's still under threat of the spell quarter though, like a three turn clock. So that's two damage onto the Gideon and onto onto Alex. Okay, I was just wondering if Sleepy Wood named himself after the Maple Story. Sleepy Wood. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Will we get into copyright issues no. talking about it? Oh, okay, no. right, alright. <laughs> we, we can talk about Maple Story. Alright. Talk about my level two hundred dra uh, Dark Knight. I really the love the jumping quest, but I never completed it. The what? The jumping quest, you know, the the one in Sleepy uh, Wood. Only nineties kids will remember. <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so what did he draw? Did he draw something good? It's like every draw like extends to something amazing or uh, uh, no. Okay, uh, no. I, I was reading too much. Wait, is he gonna okay, tap six? What's he gonna play? What's a six drop over here? Holy crap! Another card of calling. What a god! Oh, oh literally my god. Jesus! What an insane game! Is he gonna get like uh? What's what's a three drop? Another fiend hunter? Oh, e witness, e witness for. We know what e witness does. I don't. Even Nurse gets a card from a graveyard to your hand. Okay. Get Call of Calling. Oh boy. Turn 4. I'm gonna draw. Okay, so I think you Call of Calling. Um, what do you Call of Calling here? What do you have in his What does Alexo have in his hand? Mm, this, is so, this is so exciting. So exciting. Okay, so oh didn't didn't get anything. He just got a windswept heath. Hmm. Do you do you, do you see any any ways for Alexo to win here? What could he possibly uh, call of calling? I'm not very sure. I'm sorry. You're a really bad I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> you know that. I'm sorry. I, I think if you start, I think if you start crying, we'll get more views. Can you start crying? <laughs> I'm not crying. I swear. You want to watch Shelter? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so the other day, Elfin and I were were trying to make each other cry by showing no, each just, other just, sad she, videos. No, just she was just trying to make me cry, but it never worked out. I ended up crying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a, a bunch. So, so weak. <laughs> Did you watch the the animated short what where animated uh short? this this girl meets a snowman? It's called uh Lily and the Snowman. Oh, oh, it's like she 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 put a scarf on the snowman and it came to life and it, it and he did like shadow shadow play oh, for it. Oh, speaking of uh, coming to life, let's call it came to life. It's gonna end the game. All right, good. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no. Here comes Court of Calling. Alfian is in. See how it's okay, I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's Alex gonna get here? Come on, Formator Alex, you mage? got this! Oh, Formator Mage, okay. Formator Mage, blow up your Slashed Colonnade. Bang! Down to one. It's a draw. 
All right. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, wow. It, it was a draw? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So how 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 do we how do we record points in draws? I don't know. Uh, ask Mark. <laughs> so each player gets like a one. No, they, they probably split their packs though, so that's alright. Oh. Alright. So yeah, you've been watching more than more here at Grail Games. Road to the invitationals. Uh, all the players here are they just did they just roll to win? <laughs> I think they did. I think they did. Uh, okay, if that's so the case then Jareem. Anyway, well. anyway, so yeah, road to the invitationals. Wrote the wrote the invitationals here. Um, gonna we're gonna we gonna stream the, on the thirtieth of April. The gr all the great people in Singapore we're gonna tell it out at Kyoga Games. The yeah. best of the best, yes. the cream of the crop, the cream de la meme, the yeah. baka anta uh, oh, shinji right, right, anta okay. baka. Thank thank you, Elvian. You 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 uh, can you can do your best at the season qualifiers. I believe in you. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, for myself. And uh, Wen Si and Powernet Podcast to check us out on powernetpodcast.com and grillgames.com and our YouTube and our Twitch. Yes, our Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Do, yeah, do we have Twitter? Uh, yeah, no. I have Twitter. My Twitter is scription YN. Okay. What's, uh, your, what's your Twitter? Th th that's very unprofessional to do a personal shout out. Please follow me on, on, on Bovary East. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you just give like a goodbye burp.